This is Cool Japan, and I'm here with another figure eyes standard Dragon Ball Z model kit. And you may or may not know that I'm a big Dragon Ball fan, Natic, and I. This figure is really awesome, and it's perfect cell. And I did. First, I did want the figure arts version of perfect cell. But there's a couple reasons why I didn't get it. Um, first reason is that it's super expensive now, and also it looks pretty. It looks pretty bad. Like the face of the figure arts version is kind of stupid, and he's a little bit <clears throat> too short for his actual character. So I'm hoping that this model kit is better than that. So you get a whole bunch of runners. Lots of cool stuff. It's also cool that it comes with this um, this power beam effect. I think it comes with yeah, just that one. You can also see his bug-like wings. Really cool. And the green. So I'm going to do a speed speed build of this. I don't know if I'm going to put it in this video or not. I might just um, skip the whole build process and just show you guys the completed figure and then do the speed build in a different video. Uh, it depends on how long it is. So let me just get to building it. Be right back. Okay, and so here is the completed perfect cell by Figure Eye Standard, and I have him standing next to some figure arts and I think um, the scale is pretty good I mean he's supposed to be a really tall guy but I think he's just a little bit on the bulky side his height is fine but he seems a little bit too bulky for to fit perfectly in the scale but I checked some pictures and his height is about about that you know he's about that much taller than Goku so the scale works out really good for figure arts and the figure arts cell is actually just a little bit taller than Goku which is a little bit too short and a little bit too skinny so I would prefer the figure eyes version and also what I really like about figure eyes is that they don't force you to use any glue or paint or anything. You can just cut off the pieces and put them together and he looks great. I did use a little bit of cement on um, the biceps a little bit and right here on the side. But other than that he looks great. Pieces don't fall off that easily. Just his hands maybe come off a little bit easy but other than that, he works out really good. His articulation is pretty great too. I mean, his arm goes up that high. He's got a butterfly joint. So you can have him, oops. You can have him punching out. Yeah. He's got a pretty good crunch too. So you can look down on a tiny guy if you wanted to, maybe Gohan. And yeah, arms move pretty good, leg goes out that much. Oh, I might have to glue this part. Legs go out that much, goes back. Can't really kick out that much, which is a shame, but it's because of his, his legs. Maybe you can pull it down a little bit so it can go out. Yeah, that's too bad. But he does look really good. So anyway, I'm going to... I'm not going to do the speed build in this video. I'm going to do it in a separate video just because it's really, really long. But yeah, check it out if you're interested. And if you do like this um, speed build, I, I would like to do more. So if you want to see more, just comment and 
I will do more. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. I will take some pictures, so stay tuned and enjoy.